with the aim of stimulating and inspiring the learning of chemistry amongst secondary school students. The PZ Cousins Chemistry Challenge Competition was launched in 2013 and since then has been Nigeria's number one physical science competition. The 2016-2017 competition had contestants from both public and private schools slugging it out in four stages of the competition, which are a written quiz for all shortlisted candidates, a written quiz for the best 100 from stage 1, practical for the best 24 candidates from stage 2, and six candidates battling it out at the grand finale. Consider the reaction represented by the equation below. A. The gas, the gas is condensed. B. The yield of hydrogen increases. C. The concentration of the reactants remain constant. And D. The yield of hydrogen iodide increases. Think about your answer. Don't be too anxious. Just cool down and answer you have. D. The yield of hydrogen iodide increases. Is that your final answer? Yes. At the end of the keenly contested competition, Dara Ogumola from New Hall International School emerged winner, followed by Samuel Oyelami from Tomia Community Senior Secondary School, Alagbadu, who came second, and Justin Anika from Federal Government College, Ijaniki, who came third. The winners shared their experience with Education Report on TV. This is one of the best days of my life, honestly speaking. When I started this competition, it was just like... Let me just get over this thing quickly. Then I was told that I passed the first stage. Immediately I laughed because I didn't believe it. Then the second stage came, I passed it. Again I laughed because I still didn't believe it. And I was not like, okay, something something might happen here. So let me just try and dedicate myself. So I, I finished a lot of, I finished two textbooks. Uh, I practiced so many questions from WAEC and JAM and UTME and even questions from the textbooks I, I read was really hard i just wanted for the thing to end win or lose i wanted to, it to just end this did i know that i was going to win some things are worth suffering for so if you if you feel like well what's the odds of me winning just think again keep trying keep trying even if it seems like it's going to be impossible i know people a lot of people say it, but it's true keep trying so that one day eventually you can you can say i did this he is a student that is ready to go extra miles. Uh, apart from what he's been taught in class, he will go extra mile on his own to do one or two research and he come back to school the next day and tell you, can we do it this way? Can we do it that way? I was surprised he did. He came to me and said, we can use stem cells and solve human problem in human cloning to create some organs that are not replaceable in in women's, I was thinking with this within me that at this stage, you know much about stem cells. I said, this boy is going into places. Within me now, I'm feeling joyous, I'm feeling happy, I'm feeling great because I couldn't believe I can make it to this extent. I read textbooks, I go online to search for more information, I visit my teachers to ask them questions and I uh, I get past questions also. Then I, I go for practical applications of those we've learnt in the class because I love chemistry. To my teacher, I want to appreciate him. I want to say a big thank you to him. I feel very excited and happy to be one of the winners of today's competition. 
I also want to thank the people that organized the PZ cousins that organized the competition and also the teachers and the, the school that made it, to, made it to be possible for me to compete in the competition. I feel very, very happy. I give great thanks to PZ for giving him the opportunity to participate. Not only that, for giving these students that competed today the opportunity to compete among themselves. At least they were able to test their intellectuals. Dignitaries present at the event amongst whom was the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Education, Mr. Adeshino Odeyemi, gave kudos to the organization for organizing such a laudable competition. We have seen our students, students from both public and private school. They have come here today to come and exhibit uh, their talents. And in actual fact, they have done wonderfully well, showing the, the, their worth. And um, we know that uh, science is very critical in the development of any nation. And uh, the students that have uh, completed today are both from the public and private schools. And in fact, the second, I mean, the first runner, so runner up, is a public school pupil why the winner is from the private sector. Lagos State is blazing the trail because we have a competition so many that we encourage our students to participate in. This is just one of them. And I'm sure if our students are able to forge ahead in their studies and they do what is fair of them, they will become very successful scientists in future. And by so doing, our state will start producing things that we can use locally such that uh, all this importation of all the things that we use in, in this country will be a thing of the past. Chemistry is at the heart of all the manufacturing that we do. And if you think of what the government is trying to do today, the government wants in work. For us to be able to do that, it means that we've got to encourage the study of some of the basic sciences like chemistry, get young people interested in uh, the study of the subject, and therefore you can have the right manpower that ensure that you can build high quality manufacturing industrial base within the country. So us partnering with the Lagos State uh, Ministry of Education ensures that okay, we can have and support uh, the education project within uh, Lagos State and also, also working with the uh, Chartered Institute of uh, Chemists of Nigeria also ensures that we can do that in a holistic manner. I believe strongly that success is really proportional to hard work where God is the constant in the equation. So you have to put God first in everything you do and uh, there's a place of hard work. Chemistry is life. And uh, if we want to um, do very well in Nigeria, the pillars of the nations in the world is built on education, science and technology. And chemistry is one of the science subjects which will make Nigeria do better because everything we do, the shirt you're wearing, my shirt, my entire being is chemistry and I love chemistry. The winner went home with a trophy gold medal, a sum of 700,000 naira, a laptop, 100,000 naira for the teacher and 100,000 naira worth of laboratory equipment for the school. The first runner up went home with 450,000 naira, a laptop, 80,000 naira for the teacher and 80,000 naira worth of laboratory equipment for the school. While the second runner up went home with a sum of 350,000 naira, a laptop, 70,000 naira for the teacher, and 70,000 naira worth of laboratory equipment for the school.